the wild forests of North America, wolf conservation is about to happen. Yes, indeed, this is what is wolf conservation today. The US government argues that killing is conservation because it reduces illegal hunting. If the government had not killed these wolves, illegal hunters would have killed even more wolves. The idea that removing legal protection for wolves increases tolerance among people and therefore reduces illegal hunting is also supported by governments of Norway, Sweden and Finland. This idea is often presented as a pragmatic one and is increasingly used to justify hunting wolves, grizzly bears and other large carnivores. However, it has never been evaluated by a scientific study. So we looked at the evidence supporting this idea by moving to Wisconsin and Michigan, where beginning 13 years ago, the US government removed wolves from the list of protected species. Conservation and animal welfare organization immediately protested and attacked the government decision in court. When a federal judge ruled that killing wolves was illegal under the Endangered Species Act, wolves were then immediately put back on the list of protected species. <laughs> However, this did not last long, as the US government promptly removed again wolves from the list of protected species. A decision that was also quickly ruled illegal by a federal judge who protected wolves again. And during years of legal battles, wolves were unprotected, protected, unprotected again, and so on. So we analyzed these repeated changes of wolf protection with Bayesian models and investigated whether they had decreased illegal hunting. We found, on the contrary, that removing protection for wolves was enough to increase illegal hunting. Even if no wolf had actually been killed by the government. There was no support for the idea that removing protection for wolves would decrease illegal hunting. Our paper, Blood Does Not Buy Goodwill, Allowing Killing Increases Poaching of a Large Carnivore, is published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society.